Ireland's steeplechase athletes are down on the track, ready to do seven and a half laps, 35 barriers. Uh, seven water jumps, six water jumps. They skip it on the first round. <laughs> and that's a <laughs> super outfit there. I don't know who that's for. This race is pretty wide open. I've got to say, there's some men with decent personal bursts that haven't run it this season. A cluster of men in the low 810s. Zoglami, so that's Ala Zoglami. Twin Italians down there, which are very best to not get them muddled up. He's the first of the brothers, not so quick this season. There's Daniel Arce, Spanish athlete, was the top European at the World Championships. He took ninth there. Looked a bit sluggish in the heats, but he could improve here in the final. Osama Zoglami of Italy is the other. Zoglami twin. He's an 8-11 this season. Number three all-time on the Italian list. Carl Bembedorf of Germany getting the applause of the local crowd. Four-time national champion. Good second in the first heat. He looks pretty at home in that. Jali Benjani of France was fifth in 2019. Yeah, light on races though. 8.05 personal best. But only 8.26 this season, but Bedrani does have the skills to pick up a medal here. Niklas Bukholz goes in lane two, smiling at the crowd. 8.32, just snuck into this final as a non-automatic qualifier. He has done slightly better this season, though. Ahmad Abdelwahid of Italy is on the inside. He's an Olympic Games and World Championship finalist. He won his heat. He's only 12th at the World Championships, not as high as the Spanish athlete who already introduced. But he is the European lead with 8-10. Three strong Italian athletes in this chase. We very rarely see team running tactics, ever, really, on the track. We occasionally see it from some nations. And I do wonder whether these Italians could run together as a team, particularly because there's two twin brothers in there. Surely they do their training together. Surely they're going to want to push each other and support each other. That's Topi Wettinen of Finland going to the lead at the moment. He was eighth at the Olympics. He's got a brilliant finish on him, Wettinen. Surprised to see him in the lead. I don't think he's going to make it particularly fast. And two French athletes in the four as well. Pedrodny and Galbert. He's kind of occupying second and third at the moment but that's nice and sedate very slow they will run a full 400 this time and then they're going to switch in for an indoor inside water jump so then it will get very hard to figure out exactly how fast they're running until we get those kilometer slips so right in taking up the early running ahead of the two frenchmen as they run around the outside, we have the men spinning around the inside. Lucas Weiss Heidinger is next in the circle. Two fouls to his name. He needs to get in that top eight if he wants another three throws. Mark at the moment is 62 metres. And so, probably a little bit further and a lot of change through this third round. Hiding there has been on major championship podiums before the Austrian is struggling a little bit here. You can see that eighth place line there. Vice Hiding, I think, has just dropped beneath it 63 meters and two centimeters. So it was perilous of Cyprus getting that eighth spot. Well, Wrighton, and I remember he had a, a bad fall at the European Team Championships, but still came back to challenge. You've got the Frenchman there in second place. France have dominated this event over the last few years. Nikisi Benabad winning 2010, 2012, uh, 2016. You also had uh, Johan Koal winning the title for France. We cut away to see Patricia Mamona now that the women's triple jumping is underway. The 2016 European champion. What she can she do here? Oh, not a very good jump, I'm afraid. Just over 14 meters. Jumped a season's best of 14.45 in qualifying. Not a terribly good jump. 
didn't really manage to get into the second phase, the step phase. And as you can see, a long, long way away from the board. 17 centimetres to spare from going into the black. Now, Bet Romanchuk, Ukrainian, second at the World Indoor Championships this year. Jump sparingly in the triple jump. That was good, though. That's very good indeed. That's around the 14.50 mark. That's the best outdoor mark probably this year. It's all coming together for Bet Romanchuk. And she's really got the bit between her teeth after missing out by just a few centimetres on a medal in the long jump last night. Well, Bet Romanchuk spot on the board. That really was excellent from the Ukraine jumper. Well. 14.81 the mark there for Beckham and Munchuk as we turn our attention back to the men's steeplechase. 2.52 for the, through the first kilometre. That's pedestrian for these men. 8.36 pace. They are so much more capable of that. And it's the two Zoglami twins to the front. Italy 1 and 2. Bedrani of France has swung round Raytonen to take third place at the moment. I did think we might see the Italian twins running together. or won't commit to which is which until we get a closer look. There we go. It is Osama Zoglami in the lead. He's the faster of the two twins this season. And Zoglami pushing the pace at the front. His brother, Arla Zoglami, sitting in second place. Frenchman Delagi Badrani in third. And must have lifted the pace ever so slightly. Respectable through four laps to go. But we could still see a burn up. And when you're running fast at these barriers, technique is so important. You're used to running at your personal best pace in a pace-made race. You'll be right on your limit, very consistent. But suddenly when you're surging and sprinting, those barriers can come up on you a lot quicker than they might in a rep or in a steady pace race. So Glami looking comfortable at the front at the moment. Yeah, the pace now really starting to crank up after that sluggish first 1,500 metres, which they went through in 4.19. That's... Really 8.40 pace, but now it's really starting to move as they come through to see. They're coming through to the two-kilometre mark very shortly. And the two Zuglamis are really pushing the pace at the front. It's as you sort of slightly predicted there. I know you're a bit hesitant to say, would the Italians run as a team? But they clearly are. Abdel Wahed tracking them as well. I wonder at what point team orders cease, probably with one lap to go. But they're making it tough for everybody because there aren't too many other runners in this field that have the talent of this trio of Italians. Maybe Reitonen, RK, well, Badrani, but Badrani's not been in the sort of shape that he had a few seasons ago. But now the pace has just dropped back. They went through 2,000 metres in 541.10. It's ebbing and flowing, the pace. It looks as though the Italians were surging, and then they've just eased off the accelerator. So Osama Zoglami drifted wide, around about 400 metres to go, to let his brother Ala Zoglami come through the middle. So it doesn't look like there's been an injection of pace, but perhaps the two brothers feeling this is their strongest formation. Ala Zoglami, the slower twin, if you like, the one that struggled a little bit this season. And 400 metres later, it's back to Osama Zoglami into the lead. Abdul Abdul Wahid, the other Italian, he's got the blue number on his chest. He's the fastest European athlete. He made a big move 400 metres to go to make it an Italian 1-2-3. There was a bit of argy-bargy going on over the last barrier. So no love lost between the teammates. And you can just see RK there tangling with his Spanish teammate. And it's the German Bebendorf moving up into third place at the moment, but it's still Osama Zoglami. The better twin on paper, Osama Zoglami in the lead at the moment. That was a big move from Abdul Wahid, realising with 400 metres to go, he had to get himself back on terms with his Italian teammate. Messi into that barrier from so many of those men. They're starting to tire. They're moving super fast and making adjustments all the time. Now we said right in and had a sprint finish on him. He's in third place with 300 metres to go, but they're piling up behind him. Martos of Spain has had a messy last 400. Surely his legs are gone. But here goes Abdul 
Abdul Wahid of, uh, of Italy. Brilliant hurdle there. And it's right in and of Finland swinging around the outside. Everybody said, watch out for the finish. Finish. Could we see Wrighton and steal the gold medal? He's had a quiet race. That was a brilliant water jump for Wrighton. And that was powerful. That was wonderful. He's straining. He's stretching. He's in pain. But he got so much momentum out of the water pit. Wrighton in with one barrier to go. Abdul Wahid of Italy driving hard. It's going to be Wrighton in of Finland for the win. He's got time to celebrate. Abdul Wahid celebrates over the line. And Osama Zoglami makes it. A 2-3 for Italy. But what a tactical masterpiece from Toppy Reitinen of Finland. Well, it was a phenomenal last kilometre. Pushed by the Italians, both the Zuglami brothers. Although, of course, Alla slipping back. But coming up with that last lap to go, Reitinen. Well, we've seen quite a lot of Finnish steeplechasers over the years. You can turn the clock back to the 50s and then even earlier than that. But Reitinen, the new generation. He's emulated exactly what Yuka Kassis-Tisalo did. His uh, ultimate career highlight in Gothenburg 2006. Hang back and then came up with a beautiful finish. And Reitinen, someone who had a stomach bug at the World Championships, he was way off. But... Thankfully, the consolation prize, or more than that, he takes the European title. And uh, you've got to be left wondering what RK and Martos could have managed if they hadn't tangled with each other with about 500 metres to go. And you can see the frustration there for Sebastian Martos of Spain. Reitinen was in that pack, but he managed to navigate a lot of that drama really well and maintain his position and his momentum without getting tangled up with the other runners. It was a brave move from the German Bebendorf as well with around about 450 metres to go out wow, Messi off the line that's male steeple chasing for you wonderful shot there of the steeple chasers going over that's not the penultimate steeple chase jump and this is the critical part of that race where Reitinen down the back straight with three barriers to go, gets the lead, gets in front, and as you said during the race commentary, produced an absolutely brilliant clearance, used the barrier of the water jump almost as a lever to propel himself across the water. And then barring accidents, it was the gold medal was his with 150 metres to go, and we knew that, well, in an 8.20 race, he was always going to be difficult to beat. Abdul Wahid... Well, he's run 8.10 this year, but seems extremely pleased with his silver medal. Two gold medals now to Finland, following the footsteps of Wilma Murto in the women's pole vault a few nights ago. Brilliant result for Finland. There's the confirmed result. Toppy writing in on top of the leading board. Ahmed Abdul Wahid with a silver. And Osama Zaglami, really good tactical race from the Italian. Maximised his potential, stretched that field out and controlled it.